All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unranked to Diamond series. We are currently in Silver 1 right now. Uh, Fiora seems to be, or I think that she might be a smurf. I think Fager might also be a smurf in this game. But outside of that, there isn't really that many smurfs in this game. So I think that we're roughly playing against like Gold Elo. Um, for the runes, I would definitely recommend Conquer into this matchup uh, to get it with Triumph. Also, Alacrity, uh, Last End. I got second wind because Fiora is poking insanely hard. And we also have overgrowth for the mid late game scaling. Now one more thing. Uh, we have longsword as the starter item. This is great if you are feeling confident about the matchup. However, if you're not feeling confident, go for Dorn Shield. Because he's going to poke a lot. Okay, so... Against Fiora, there's multiple ways to play it out, guys. Uh, specifically, this Fiora is playing with um, bomb plating in the resolve tray, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be very careful about how we approach this guy. We're gonna be chilling out, have the wave frozen here, uh, make sure to like crash into the tower. As soon as we make it to level three, I will show you guys a specific combo to trade this guy. Man, I'm, I'm, I kind of have like this is kind of becoming like sort of like a habit now, uh, me uh, playing it around level three nowadays. Uh, usually, I like to go for like aggressive level one plays. Uh, however, in the majority of the matchups that uh, that we play nowadays, uh, you can actually win most of them uh, around level three, since that's where you will have you know shield stun everything. It's kind of what my playstyle is right now. I always have this kind of like safe playstyle. Where I only take like calculated traits. Or at least that's that's what I'm trying to attempt. Wait. We can kill him right now. Uh, Diana, instead of... Wait, what? Uh, Diana actually went to the river instead of ganking. This would have been a kill right now, actually. Huh. We could have actually had a kill right now. I got him. Like, Diana moved up here, and then she went to the river instead. So we basically just missed a kill for free right there. <laughs> they only missed it. Wow. That's getting extremely close. Okay. She walked in the middle of my of the center of my wave. I can kill her again right now. Thank you very much. I was dragging Fiora towards me while uh, she started to trade. So the entire minion uh, uh, creep wave focused Fiora. So all I had to do was run away from Fiora waiting for my abilities to come back. And then using all the creeps to my advantage and then get the kill instantly. That was nice. Now we push that in. We will immediately go back afterwards. The first item we're going to buy is... It's gonna be uh Fage. I was actually thinking about going for Iron Spike for a second. I but I'd rather go for this. Uh maybe we could go for This is also good. Alright. In terms of kills, we're now two kills ahead. Uh in terms of farm, it's still equal, but in terms of XP, we're like definitely ahead of her now. And the wave is also pushing towards us. So now all we have to do is just wait for the wave to arrive back to our side of the of the lane. And then we can start trading her. What conflict awaits? I actually don't want to show my Q yet. There we go. Oh. She saw it coming. I don't know how. Maybe she just predicted. I'll do like a quick try uh trade. This is one of the best ways to trade a Fiora, guys. Just E in, uh, stun, auto, into uh, an Akio way. Of the past. 
The wave will now crash into Fiora's turret, so we're just going to slow push it. She will come back, but it just takes some time. There's nothing to take on the map right now, so she will arrive soon. The wave will uh, slowly build towards Fiora. I'm going to use that to my advantage. If she comes in, I'll trade her. Man, honestly, this is like one of my first times like ever playing Riven uh, with uh, with this skin, but then specifically with a Chroma. I've actually never played the skin with a Chroma before. Uh, thanks to someone in my Twitch chat actually gave it to me. Oh, what? What? That was the most random parry I've ever seen. Because <laughs> I didn't even press an ability yet. Wait, what? That was a super random Fiora parry. I'm going to kill it right now. Uh, we can just dive her. That's not our problem. She, she will die now. Got her. Perfect. Let's get the entire wave and then we go back. And I'll also get this. <clears throat> okay, let's get Gorge Anchor. This is going to be a huge game changer for me. Because once we get this item, everything will change. We can now trade Fiora. We can heal back every single time. We can go for like short trades against her. Every single time. Whether we go in or out, we can proc her bone play using Gorge Anchor as well. Uh, by pulling like an E with Gorchinker, like this. So let's see. The matchup is definitely one for me now. When you play against Fiori, guys, it's 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 all about like playing smart. Uh, because believe it or not, Fiora matchup is actually favored for Fiora right now. She's got she's actually pretty strong at the moment. But um, if you play really really smart. Uh, it becomes like a more of like a skill matchup. They get the bone plate, but we could try again in just a second. Oh. <laughs> oh, I failed it. I I will get her anyways. She will die now. Got her. Thank you. I was actually I was actually constantly like walking this way so that she wouldn't actually hit the uh the ultimate. I could have used the wall. I tried to use it, but it didn't work. That was my bad. Okay, we got the turret now. Nice. Uh, we can get the next turret as well, actually. Wait. Yep. Vegas also coming, but he can't really do anything. Hmm. I oh, it has actually mastery here as well. We could maybe try to get a kill on him. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah. We could probably dive this guy. Got my ultimate in like 20 seconds. Figure and master your mid lane. Nice. I actually want this guy to parry. I think I'm probably gonna die now. Yeah, I'm dead. She, uh, uh, Fiora actually lived with like one HP. That's extremely unfortunate, man. 
Oh man, that that was extremely unfortunate. Wow, that was that was just unlucky for me. Whatever, it's fine. It's okay. Uh, we got low city boots now. Uh, we are going to go with. I think we're probably going to go with Hydra this game. I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking about it. Reason why I'm not sure yet is because they have a Fagar with a stun, and I guess you all you all know how that works. You get trapped and you will die instantly. So we'll see. Because uh, Hydra is really good for snowballing, but if you get like killed with a single combo, then you're 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 you know you're dead. You can't do anything then. But if you go Black Lever, you at least you're tanky and you will probably survive. But we'll see. I might still consider it. Got her. Thank you. Now we continue pushing. Nice. Push up the next wave right now. Now we take this camp over here and we take the wolves as well. Take this. And we go back top again. We I think we can probably get a kill on Fiora if she shows up right now. Wait. Or maybe we could even try to kill nah, never mind. I'll take the blue buff. We just have to be very patient. Actually, Fiora's bot lane. I didn't see. I'm blind. Okay. For some reason, I didn't see it. Got the blue buff. We just keep rotating everything from now on. That's all we have to do. Uh, it's People always don't understand how the mid late game is being played out as Riven. I see like a lot of people having questions of how mid late game is being played out, but... It's actually so simple, guys. I know, I know, it's ridiculous what I'm saying because it's actually way harder, but um, than what it, you know, is. But um, usually, mid late game is literally just splitting, just farming, getting catches on the side lanes, farming jungle camps, and that's it. Like it's, I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's pretty much how the mid game is being played out. And if you have TP up, or you see like a nice uh, flank in mid, you can just flank, get a nice playoff. Usually these are like the kind of things you want to be looking out for. Uh, you just constantly want to like uh, apply pressure in the game in some kind of way. And uh, force really good fights. It's really nothing else than that. You just have to learn how to get those plays off. Like the laning phase of League, it's... It's pretty much the hardest part. If you know how the how the how the early game works, then you're good to go. No. Like the mid late game is usually just about getting ahead and just not throwing the game. Let's get some more jungle camps. I think Mastery is probably gonna take this one. Nice. So mastery is not going to get it. Nice. Jinx is currently on bot lane. I think I could probably kill this guy instantly. Wait. He's going to come close, I think. I could instantly kill this Vagar if he comes close to me. But we don't necessarily have to kill him. We're going to go back now. Uh, I actually want to buy the Hydra right now. We're like 10 gold away from it. I think afterwards I'll just go back top again. Maybe we could path mid and see what's going to happen. We have TP up as well so we can make a really huge play. I'm actually thinking about TPing. Wait. I'm going to dive these guys. We will dive them. 
they're really low. Oh, exhaust trap, Jinx. Wow. Actually, I actually baited them pretty hard. <laughs> I don't know if they will pass, but I'm hoping they would pass at least. If he comes to me, I can help him out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I actually baited my team like really hard there for a second. I did not expect like all of them to be here though. Got the wards. So yeah, that's that's what I mean with you know throwing games, right? You don't you don't want to accidentally get called by the enemy team in some way. Uh, at least for me though, I I wouldn't die there. I was pretty sure of it because I had flash, and I you know we have multiple dashes, right? Uh, but. My team did. And my team is actually worth a lot of gold too. So if they get caught like once, they drop like a lot of gold. Nice. Oh, I, I want to get this camp actually. I'll be farming it out. Let me push this again. Lee Sin's been farming it out the entire time, but it's better if we do it ourselves. Uh, if she comes closer, I could actually kill her. I don't think she's going to pass. No. I was actually hoping she would pass uh, right there, but no. Hmm, I'll take your red buff then. I don't want to give the red buff to Jinx here. I want it for myself. It should spawn in 8 seconds. Never give the jungle to the enemy team if you're this far ahead, guys. You just want to take everything for yourself. Push it out. Hey, not a ward. But you see, like, they're not going to pass through. I will do everything it takes to stop them from getting their jungle cams because it will only give me, uh, it'll only push, push me ahead if they don't get it. Vegas currently on top. That's the only one that can actually kill me, so I don't have to worry about passing through uh, through bushes. Now we push. Three people are top side. We can take the uh, at least half the tower over this. And we get a mastery kill. You can dive a mastery pretty easily nowadays. They always build like full damage, especially when they go for dust blade. Now we go back bot again, take the next wave. We got 2.1k gold. The Baron is up right now. I want my team to start off the Baron, actually. Uh, I can just keep taking pretty much everything in the jungle. So, if my team could start a Baron, that would be great. Hmm. Next wave will arrive right now. I can dive that Mastery. Close. Very, very, very close.
But no, you're not getting me. Nicely. Lee's doing a great job, actually. Uh, Mastery is gonna spawn up in like five seconds. Let's go down to this camp over here and take that. Then we take mid and then we go back. Three point seven K gold right now. Oh, maybe we can also take this side of the of the jungle that we go back. You see in farm where we have more than ten CS per minute. You know, people people, especially in like low low to mid elo, you can get ten CS per minute super easily, man. You you can get it really easy. If you snowball lane and you win really hard, it is only a matter of doing what I am doing in this game. And getting like 10 CS per minute, especially if you go for for Gorchink and Hydra, it's it's really easy to do. What makes him go Baron? It's taking him a really long time. Dior's top side. I'll quickly kill him. Hello there, Fiora. I'm actually waiting for her parry, but she's not using parry for some reason. Ah, she will die. <laughs> Let's see how long this is going to last for. Ah, not that long. I got him. Let's go. Massive fight starting out here. They really need my help, though. Hello, Fager. They flash. I like how they're trying, like, super hard, but it doesn't matter what they do now. I'm too far anyways. If I buy QSS, I can counter Fager stun. Okay, let's take a look and see how much damage uh, we did in this game, guys. I think I did like maybe, I don't know, 25k damage or something like that. Maybe 30k because the game didn't last for that long anyways. Let's see, right? I'll give the honor to this guy. So for the elo, we got plus 22 LP. We are now at 40 uh, or actually 50 LP. For the uh, damage, we've done 15.3k damage. And for the runes, this is the runes that we've been using in the game, guys. Um, either way, uh, this game was being played live, guys. If you want to see me play live on stream, uh, don't forget to check out the link inside the description below the video. Uh, streaming pretty much every single day. But thank you for watching today's YouTube video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.